Alright, and welcome back to the Vanquish Left Let's Play. I'm joined once again by Jossie Rossi. Hello! Ding! And that's a machine gun. Uh, some of the small visual changes. This one has a bigger scope, a bigger magazine, and a funny little thing on the front that looks like a silencer that doesn't work at all. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like a really silent gun. No, it's not. It works well, though. Veis el edificio a lo lejos? <laughs> yeah, El Elena's Spanish voice is kind of hilarious. It sounds like she's been pumping helium. But yeah, I mean, one of the nice things about this game is despite uh, kind of a, a stereotypical setting, it really does manage to vary up the environments. Yeah, I was gonna say this. This doesn't look like anything I, I've seen so far. I, I know I'm a little behind on the episodes, but it's actually really pretty. It is. No, they did a they did a real good job on the the grass and the uh, effects and terrain around here. And slow motion drop kick. Kicked him so hard he disappeared for a second. <laughs> he phased out of reality. Oh yeah, this, this little section is not too hard. Uh, something that someone else mentioned earlier on is that um, the enemies in the game will glow red if they're targeting Sam, but they'll glow blue if they're not. So you can more easily pick out what things are being a direct threat to you. Ooh. That's a nice little detail. No, it, it totally is. It's one of those things I wasn't even consciously aware of for a very long time. And I'm just using the lock-on laser again here because Whoa. It's badass. Yeah, that's been upgraded. Oh yeah, that's right. You haven't seen it since it has been. But yeah, yeah. I just wiped out pretty much every Gorgie in two volleys. <laughs> and now I can steal their shit. Grand Theft Lagrange point. It's a MOA. But yeah, once One you thing. once you kill these two little dudes here. That's why I'm delaying. Then right over here, a couple of Romanovs pop in. Have they ever done the uh, the digging up from the ground thing before, or is that only in this area? Oh no, the, those are new to you, but they've shown up before. And I okay. didn't mean to shoot that one in the head. I like to punch him to death, but uh, <laughs> it just kind of happened. You've ruined my enjoyment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go Degrassi! Yeah, Degrassi. Isn't that a band, Degrassi? It's also a high school show that, that all of my friends, all of my female friends know and love, love, but I've never really heard of it. Like, I, I keep thinking the name reminds me of something. I feel like this is, this is an area where the, um, the streamlined nature of the levels is really more apparent than others. Like, you know, there'll be certain areas where there's a gate, and the gate's in the way, and you can't get through. And in some areas, it just seems like you should be able to hop over it. There, there's really no reason why it should be grinding your assault to a, to a halt. Well, that's always yeah. the case whenever a game incorporates at sort of outdoor levels. And yeah. When you have a corridor, there's only one place to go to. But... Anyway, I'm gonna be looking at the burns here in a second. Parece que los IR enemigos se preparan para un asedio. Han cerrado todo este sitio. Estos IR me están empezando a poner de muy mala hostia. Wait for it. You know you want to. Come on. There it is. De vuestra salud, cabrones. I don't speak Spanish, but cabrones, isn't that like jerk or something? I think it is, yeah. I, I was secretly hoping that you were going to uh, stand next to the no smoking sign until uh, your smoking animation popped in. I tried that. It doesn't let you uh, crouch against the wall there. Otherwise, I totally would have. But yeah, the LFE gun just rocks shit here because it's kind of a constrained entrance point for them. I just love the look of that gun. It, it's in in a way, it's like unassumingly threatening. It is like the first time I played this game, I totally neglected it because I used it once or twice, and I just thought, oh, it's pretty, but it's really slow and not very strong. 
but just the fact that it goes through everything and will kill yeah. any Gorgie in one hit, it's a lot stronger than you think. And then we get to the point where I realize that I can bowl over Romanoffs with it, and then I just went to town with it. <laughs> does, does it also have... Ooh. Hello. Oh, it's got a face! Yeah. Little Romanov missiles getting close. It's two meters away from me and no damage. <laughs> Despite being about the same size as me. It's not as badass as you. I'm pretty sure that's what your suit runs on. Yep. Wow. And apparently that uh, grab counter does deal damage. I just destroyed him with it. I never knew that. <laughs> It's nice that the, the game seems to do a good job at um, not wasting action. Like, if you can do it, it will it will have an effect of some kind. Yeah, there's, there's almost nothing that is pointless. Although, the grass here is really annoying, because almost every time that you try and do the slow motion, you're at a low perspective, so... And I'm just waiting here for this guy to launch his fucking missile at me so I can blow him up. You, bitch. you are you are now letting fellow soldiers die so you can look more badass. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> What's another Spanish swear word? You gotta help me out here. Um, puta. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, got him. So it's chinga to madre. Alright, well you're gonna have to bust those out because I don't really know how those are appropriate to use. <laughs> that burden's on you, Jossie. I'm looking it up, I'm looking it up. Now I say this about almost every fight in the game, but the next little combat scenario here is one of my favorites in the game. The way it, the setting and everything just... It looks pretty cool. It's actually got kind of reminiscent of Jurassic Park. Because uh, you see all the grass around here. Uh, you'll be assaulting a bunch... Oh, the Gorgies will be assaulting you. And as they move through the grass, it kind of shakes. So it looks just like a... Actually, was that seen in Jurassic Park 2 or 3? It was It was 2 with the raptors. Yes. Yeah. It's very reminiscent of that. It's quiet. Too quiet. Mm, pretty much. Not much. Not much happens until you hit this button. No. That was a very coordinated assault. Be careful. Be careful. Some of these swears are really bizarre. Like, Kogo en tu leche! Uh, that means I shit in your milk. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, man, that would take a lot of planning. El burro sabe más que tú. The donkey knows more than you. Well, that one's pretty straightforward. That is, it, is, it is pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, it's not quite as bizarre. A lot of the Gorgies come from the left side, so I wanted to try and cut them off, but they'd already jumped into the grass by then. It's interesting. Uh, it looks like Burns reacted to getting shot with the uh, the LFE. No, he reacts to getting hit, but he doesn't take damage. I experimented with this in a later video. I don't think you can actually kill Marines. Hmm. So, earlier on, when I shot that guy and he died, that wasn't me. Ooh. So I can live guilt-free. <laughs> We're still allowed to be a good person. Exactly. And I watched, a, I watched a different Let's Play video, and I was kind of hoping that these things were destructible. But no life bar pops up when you damage them, so these are going to come regardless of the camera. Oh, those guys got right on top of you. Oh yeah, these are the Gorgi USGs, I believe. Yes. They're extremely fast, they have jump jets, and they have shotgun swords. Shotgun swords? It's anime, dude, don't question it. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's that's the that's the more anime thing I've heard in a little while. Yeah. I mean, 
Honestly, I don't think there's a single bladed weapon in this game that doesn't have a gun attached to it. <laughs> Vamos! Oh yeah, this will show you just how dangerous Gorgies can actually be. So one of them strikes me, I'm not expecting it, and another one jumps down from fucking nowhere and uh, oh, wow. kicks my ass. Luckily, it drops us down right uh, before the point where I died, so I don't have to do too much else. I just have to get my guns back to level 10. But there's so much ammo <laughs> lying around, it's not hard. Do, do you do you lose a level when you die, or was that the the uh, auto the auto save? Oh no! Uh, if you restart from a checkpoint, you lose one level from each of your guns. But oh, wow. it the level that you lose, you you start with the next highest level, but with two full chevrons. So if you uh. don't expend any ammo and you find a cut duplicate of it, you can get right back to where you were. So that's luckily, kind of, I was able fair. to get back to ten. Quite quickly. Yeah, it's 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 a nice little punishment without being too too punishing. Yeah, exactly. It's almost more punishing your OCD than actually punishing your gameplay. Yeah, and, and again, like I've said several times before, but the upgrades are useful, but not strictly necessary. And at this point, all I have to do is push the button, but I just kind of want to waste time just to just demonstrate clearly that there are no other Marines coming. All of the Marines that are going to be are on the elevator here. <laughs> I'm just killing Gorgies just for the hell of it. But as soon as I push the button, I feel real bad. Aww. Oh no! no! That was a noble sacrifice they made for some reason. Marines cumplimos nuestras misiones. No podemos permitirnos el lujo de decidir cómo el cuerpo y el país son lo primero. I like that quote, though. Yeah. We finished the mission, but we don't get to choose how. <laughs> Only one death. At least in that section. That's tolerable. At best. Llegan enemigos para arriba! Oh yeah, we encountered these guys a while ago on the transport mission, but we haven't seen them since. They actually have a transforming mode, but uh, you almost never see it. I was gonna say, they don't seem particularly threatening. Uh, they're they don't not, they go fast. down really easily, but they're one of my favorite designs in the game. They have a really cool, like, owl profile. You can see one of them was, like, grabbing another marine with his talons. There Transform! Yeah, it's a view hound. Not really strong, but just fun to fight. It's, it's really a shame that they that they don't live long enough to really get to show anything off with the uh, transformation. That's true. Seguro que les caemos bien. Dirigíos a la torre de control que hay pasando el puente. Es muy fácil decirlo. Yeah, this area is pretty neat too. One of the one of the weird things is we're on a, a dam, I guess. Now, I'd like for someone to explain to me why there's a dam on a space station. <laughs> I mean, on some level, maybe I guess the, the whole thing rotates, and so uh, depending on what side is closest to the Earth or the Moon, maybe the tides shift and you could generate energy from it, but... Hmm. 
That's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. I mean, is it, isn't that kind of the whole point? Hello. Anyway, sorry, that's a buzzard. He's a little nice little mini boss. Has mastered the Kamehameha. Wave. Oh, you'll see that. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> He's really not too hard, but I don't know. He's, he's got a lot of cool animations. He's one of my one of my favorite little bosses. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Is that a is that an instant kill if it manages to connect? You know, I've never been hit by it, so I don't know. He telegraphs it so obviously, it's pretty hard to get hit by. It. This guy's kind of cute. Yeah. I think he's got a little hat. He reminds me a little bit of the uh, robot from Terminator. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, not Terminator, Robocop. Yeah, the yeah yeah. Jesus Christ! I get my movies all mixed up. Right now. now, right there, I thought that I had slow motion, but I just realized I was close to death, so I kind of hardly went away. Shoot him in the butt. Okay. <laughs> like the way you think, sir. Great minds think alike. Honestly, I think that's one of my favorite kills in the whole game. The way it like, just explodes around me. <laughs> this game is just designed to make you feel like a badass. And I'm really annoyed here because there's that upgrade sitting right over there. But I don't have any weapons that I haven't upgraded to level 10. So I'm like Aww. running around trying to scavenge something to spend it on, but there's nothing. You you are you are like Alexander at the top of the mountain, I'm just... looking to the north, south, east, and west and crying for there was nothing left to conquer. What is left? Also, this area looks really nice. It really does kind of remind me of that like sort of Gears of War thing, like the sort of cities and designs. Hey, hmm. statue. Hey. This is one of the more picturesque areas in the game. It it seems like the cities are closer. Is the um is like the structure tapering down? I don't believe so. We just have a better perspective from that area. Hmm. This is sort of the dam control room. There's really not much to see here, but it's kind of a neat little holographic input there. It'd be fun if you could shoot it and just flood the entire facility. It would be nice. All of the poor refugees cowering in their homes. Oh no, all the refugees are dead, remember? Oh, I, I keep holding out hope that maybe they're okay. Well, we'll see. I'm just trying to get a look for like what the water looks like, considering that you can see the curve of like the structure here. Hmm. It's kind of a weird effect. <laughs> a couple little mobile turrets here. Not a big deal. I don't know if it's been brought up, but. So, the game seems to be pretty much one note, but it also yeah, seems yeah, totally fun as hell. Is it... The one note it ever... is fun as hell all the way through. Yeah, but does it does it ever wear on you as you're going? Because it's, it's literally like you run into room, shoot robo robots, and then run into next room. It does a bit. I mean, you'll play this for a while, and you'll just, you'll need to put it down for a bit. But after you've had a, had a minute to relax... And hey, guess what, Argus? Ooh. But no, app. Yeah, I died a shit ton there. This is not the most difficult Argus, considering I fought two of them at once, but there's a lot of Gorgies around, and the combination of an Argus and a lot of small things shooting at you is really tricky to beat. Considering how deadly, like, it, it would show that the enemies on their own can be. Yeah. But no, but like you were saying, yeah, it, I mean, it's fun all the way through, but... I don't think you could beat this game in one sitting unless you were really, really determined. <laughs> no, it, it's so intense, it really does. You have to like relax after every couple of levels and just like take a break. Then your first. Yeah. The, it, oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, it just it, it it seems like something that 
it would wear it would wear thin, but then after like a day or two, you would really be psyched to play it. Again. No, that's exactly how it is. I mean, when, once you get through like a kind of intense session, you need to put it down for a bit. But in all the time that you're like recuperating, you're thinking about it. <laughs> I can't wait to get gotta back get, into it. Gotta get my next hit. Gotta get it. <laughs> And I believe this is the last Argus in the game that we have to kill. Aww. Oh no, there's plenty of other cool stuff to kill. A lot of stuff we haven't seen yet. I feel like when he dies, you play a sad song. Uh, maybe I'll get back to that in editing. Ooh, what you say? <laughs> If I can find it. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy. That might be more effort than it's worth. Yeah, it's, I, I don't I don't think the joke is really worth the effort. Well, we acknowledge that the joke could be made, and that's almost like making a joke. Yeah. Referential humor at its finest. Honestly, I think it would be forced if we tried to make it now in the first place. Yeah, we kind of over overhyped it. Exactly. Yeah, so the rocket launcher's got a level... Oh, it's only level one? Well, still, the lock-on time is reduced, and it's pretty useful. Hmm. Even if only, like, one of those rockets hit. Yeah, it seems it seems like it's good at tracking for the most part, but any quick movements will rapidly take the uh, take the target out of range or out of, out of the aiming. Yeah, the level nine heavy machine gun is way more useful. This don't be bad idea. Panic attack! No, it's the same as the very first Argus. You defeat one mode and it just spazzes the fuck out. <laughs> and this arena is really difficult too because there's not too much cover. I mean, there's a couple of sandbags, but if you're not near them, you're kind of fucked. So Sam could just outrun this thing so easily. Well, yeah, but the other Marines couldn't. I guess he's gotta stick with them or something. I guess. Whoa! Oh yeah, and this just goes to show how advanced you are. I mean, look, look how quickly my machine gun is just taking the second level oh. down. Wow. I'm not in the mood to uh, fuck wow. this guy. Oh shit! But he does have one more <laughs> trick up his sleeve. <laughs> Exploded in any way. You know, if I'm gonna go out, that's how I want to go out. With a giant laser erupting from your chest? Absolutely. Yeah, not a bad way to go. I hope medical science has reached that point by the time <laughs> I die. I'm gonna just put just like, you know, a nuclear core in my chest. As I grab the rocket launcher, some water erupts from the wall. So yeah, at this point I'm just kinda doing the typical post-battle scavenge. No, it doesn't look like you can reach the, uh, the flowing water. No, there's no swimming mechanics in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if it did a, uh, like, a Metroid where all it does is you just sink to the bottom and then you just move normally but slightly slower. Nah, no such luck. Or, I don't know if you call that luck. I wouldn't want to have an underwater level in this game. <laughs> but all the swimmy robots. Nice view, though. That is really nice. It is. They I, like that they, I like that they gave it character beyond beyond your immediate area. Like, uh, that, that looked like a, a central governing area. They did. They put at. a lot of effort just into the backgrounds. And uh, in some of the developer blogs from Platinum, uh, a couple of the guys whose job it was to design, to design stuff, they pretty much talk about how much trouble it was just to try and get nice backgrounds in the game without sacrificing like, the slowdown. Yeah. It does seem like that would be kind of at a premium with this game. <laughs> That's a new attack we haven't seen from these guys yet. So I'm going to keep on I love that you just punt those guys. 
Yeah, I came really close to dying right there. I should not be alive. No, pretty much every time they die, they roll up into a sphere and bounce in the air. Like, I don't think you can kill them on the ground. But regardless, we're next to a big body of water, so we kind of want to play, like, beach ball. <laughs> Everyone starts running towards it to catch it and knock it back up in the air and just explodes in their face. Yeah, there's another death edit here, and you'll see why. Oh, we've seen him before. Yeah, that sounds too threatening. Oh, but wait, there's two! Ooh. Yeah, I'm not even trying to fuck around here. I've got the rocket launcher and I'm using the hell out of it. I was gonna say it looks like you're it looks like you're taking it a little more cautious than you normally would. Well, imagine that you played this like seven, eight, nine times, and every single time these things have killed the shit out of you. After a certain point, you would just stop trying to fuck around. Even the shotgun blasts are pretty damn big. Although I like that little section there, it's like you can like see each of the shells like coming at you. I feel like this is, this is one of the kind of conflicting things when it comes to designing an encounter. Like, yeah, you've got now you have two strong enemies instead of one, but the encounter is all downhill. Because once you kill one of them, then you've only got the one and you know how to handle that. The the challenge comes from dealing with the two. That's so, true. It doesn't escalate, it de-escalates. Yeah. That is a slow missile. Well, those are like hovering missiles. These are the ones that like track you and shoot at you rather than explode. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really using the uh, EMP grenades a lot here as well. I feel like it's easy to not give grenades their credit. Oh no, it's true. I mean, they're, you, oh yeah, and by the cover Ooh. does not affect these guys as much. This guy just like slapped me straight through the whole thing. What? <laughs> and now there's one, and like you said, one of them is not too much of a threat. Just like the first one, just keep your distance, keep pounding away at it, and uh, it's not too difficult. I would probably do something where, like, if you have two, when you kill one, the other the other robot like goes over and picks up a part of the destroyed robot and then so it'll have like two lasers instead of one. Well it sounds like you're describing Ornstein and Smog. Or Smo, however you pronounce it. And again, I wanted to punch this guy, but my suit's overheating. So I can't. I wasted a grenade. Oh, but it's okay. <laughs> You could do it, you could do it. Another slow another grenade just in case. <laughs> God, this I love punching shit in slow motion. <laughs> Certain things just do not get old. No, and the thing is, like, uh in the slow motion that you trigger, you can't move. But when you get damaged, you can run around a little bit in slow motion, so that's actually the best time to try and like beat shit to death. Hmm. So, for a lot of enemies, you want to actually, like, provoke them into attacking you. It's nice, though. Risk reward. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if when you attack in slow motion, if you're actually moving faster than in real time. But it... Frankly, it just looks cooler, so I'll take it. fighting on top of the thing that we looked at earlier, so. It seems like a rather unsafe position to be in. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the whole colony could get flooded, who knows? 
Oh no. Oh no. Desde aquí podremos llegar al complejo industrial. ¿Cuál es la situación en esa zona? No lo sabemos. Los IR enemigos han ocupado esa zona y no tenemos información táctica. Bueno, ya veremos qué hacemos cuando lleguemos allí. Anyway, that's just about the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Voy a matarte! I'm keeping that in. <laughs> it, it means I am going to kill you. <laughs>